Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain for another nostalgic review. I've been doing so many in this series running from 2009 all the way to this set that came out in late 2010. Mega really were just stepping it up majorly with their releases. At this point they had a full 2010 lineup including the Pelican but they also released this red team lineup. Red Troop Transport, the Hornet vs Tower, as you know my favourite ever set, Red Combat Unit, Red Armory Bays. You're really just stepping it up a notch and I respect the heck out of you. I also love these beautiful profiles here. Like I said in an earlier review, I had a 720p, you know, HD TV. I couldn't really see Halo Wars that well. So to see these character profiles, probably the best look I'd ever got at these characters. So I really, really respected it. And these CAD drawings as well. You, you gotta love the whole design aspect here and the realistic battle. Megas lost the realistic battles in their new packaging, but you know, I thought it was time for a change. I didn't mind that much. I do love how this rock face is perfectly integrated into the background. It's really nice. So we've got three characters, the Red Troop Transport and this little uh, little piece of uh, rocky terrain. And I gotta say, this Red Troop Transport, oh man, <laughs> it's so good. We'll start with the figures because there's really nothing to say. Sniper Rifle, SMG and Brute Shot. Yes, the Sniper Rifle had just been introduced with the Mongoose. I think that was the first set that got it in spring 2010. Then this is 2010 uh, fall probably. And they just got the Sniper in here as well. SMG and Brute Shot. The Brute Shot, this is the only iteration of the brute shot that can actually insert into the back of the torso and it is a shame we lost that feature. They're, they're pretty good. The red Spartans, we got a red Spartan in the original Scorpion in the first ever wave. So these are old news, but I do like the uh, sort of wet, um, what do you call it? The runoff effect that, uh, the wash, <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. The dark red wash that seeps into the cracks of its armor gives them a great weathered 3D effect. The Brute, as I've said before, this Brute has come out in many sets like the Gremlin and the Chopper. But the detail on his belt with the blue lights and his face are really nice. On to the main stars of the show. We got this rocky terrain, which I believe is from a Mega Bloks Dragon set, just reused, and why not? It looks fantastic. I love the change in colors, the gradient change here, really nice. And the introduction of the Covenant turret, which we would get so, so many times over and would eventually be used in the Covenant Phantom and this little rock as well. Very nice. If Mega just invested a little bit more money, like I would pay one or two dollars extra per set if every set just came with one of these, it would encourage dioramas, it would encourage creativity. We need more like this. Then this red troop transport hog. My, my. If there is ever a set to utilize stickers the most, it's this one. These hazardous stickers run all the way around perfectly. Oh, there's, a, there's an SMG. That's funny. I gave uh, that spot a spare SMG because I thought I'd lost it, but I guess it was in the Warthog. These lights at the front, these floodlights, reflect off light really well. They're perfect and some nice detailing on the front there. This Warthog is the fourth iteration of Hog we've had in Halo Mega so far. We started with the original green Warthog, followed by the Arctic Rocket Hog and the Gauss Hog. So we've had a lot. Gauss Hog, Rocket Hog, <laughs> Wart Hog, and Troop Transport. The Wart Hog came first, then the Gauss Hog, then the Arctic Hog, and the Red Troop Transport. And you can tell that because they both have these reflective lights, they both have these little studs at the front, more or less the same vehicle, except this Red Troop Transport has this massive back section that is a lot of new molding. You gotta give Mega credit. The fact that these fold out so troops can actually enter is really cool. A lot of these have just had these, uh, these basic bricks running across Cross, but this one has a more smoothed off effect, which is really nice. Clips onto there. Oh yeah, the red one is used there as well. Slightly thinner one, slightly uh, less studs. Windshield looks great. The stickers on the front for the headlights. I would prefer translucent uh, bricks for that, but the stickers look good. Uh, they've not been put on very well by whoever built this bless. Then the red wheels, the step, UNSC. There's so much going on. And then one of our first fully printed decal pieces inserts just onto there and looks really snazzy. I like that a lot. Then the the bumper is a lot more pieces, all these different studs and UNSC with some red tail light. It's phenomenal, man. Like, so, so good. And the fact that the, again, injection molding, this camo effect means we have all these different random blemishes. So every single set is different. Look at this. That's much darker compared to this one. They're all randomized and they give a much more realistic, much more uh, authentic feel to them. Like they've actually just been built for this uh, very set. So guys, uh, this was a little bit of a shorter review in some ways, but um, it is just a warthog to talk about. And uh, I gotta say, one of my favorites, if Mega could just uh, bring out things like Tiger 
target exclusives of literally just old releases with different colors. People would eat them up, like people would really enjoy that. So Mega, if you're listening, get back to doing Arctic sets, Covert Up sets, Red sets. They really work in your favor. They uh, they actually, I think they probably sell a lot of products. Let me know in the comments down below, were you able to bag this at the time? It's quite a rare collectible at this point. So is the green troop transport. People really love them. Oh man, the NMPD troop transport. Like anything NMPD is so expensive at this point. Let me know in the comments down below, did you enjoy this set when it first came out? Are you gonna go and bag it now? This is being sent to one of my fans. It's just great to see how much the Warthog has innovated over the time. I wanna give one last shout out to my patrons. You can donate to my Patreon, link in the description below for $3 or more. And you guys are the bread and butter of my channel, helping this continue, helping me do what I love. As always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. And the Red Troop Transport is signing off.